Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today's video is about um, reconciling how uh, reconciling science and Islam. Uh, before you begin, please subscribe and enjoy all the good deeds. So I so I want to talk about this because when I was going through the comments of the Islamic YouTube video, uh, there was at one point like. It was about like the video was about why do people leave Islam, and one of the things that I saw a lot of was like people were having like talking about like science, and they were talking about how oh this scientific scientific thing proves it, proves this hadith or this ayah or this scientific thing disproves this hadith and this one. and the thing is it's like. I want, it's important for us to remember that Allah SWT, He is the greatest, He is the most powerful. Do these people who think that X scientific, X thing is uh, disproven by uh, sci this scientific thing, that do they think that this is what Allah SWT is limited to? Do they think that Allah SWT cannot do, cannot do things? and make it so that there's no proof of it do they think that Allah SWT is so limited in his power that if Allah SWT says I split the moon that they have to have evidence that the moon was split at some point do, like it's important for us to remember that Allah SWT he can do anything and it's not necessary that Allah SWT will make it so we can think through every single little aspect of Islam I don't know why I have to uh, wash my mouth during wuzu. I don't know why I have to wash my face more than once. I don't know why I have to like do this specific thing in prayer. I don't know what's the reason. But I do know that Allah SWT, He decided that it should be like that and so we should do it. And Yes, in some cases, science can help us understand certain things. For um, for example, uh, there might there are things that, like in the past, we didn't know would cause harm to us, uh, but now that we know that certain things cause harm to us, Islamically, we know we shouldn't do these things because that's being um, that's uh, misusing our body, and in that sense, yes, science does have a place. But we should remember that whenever science does go against Islam, that we should remember that Allah SWT, He's not limited to anything. That whatever we think, whatever we may think or see or whatever, Allah SWT is more powerful than that. And we should remember that when Allah SWT says that something is part of the unseen, it's part of the unseen, and that we won't be able to see it. The day of judgment, and inshallah, and that day we'll be in Jannah and we'll get anything we want. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khairan kaseera for watching. Please subscribe and inshallah you'll get the deeds for it.